Welcome to The Power to Create, a web series helping you refine your creative vision by looking at the fusion of technology and inspiration. On earlier episodes of The Power to Create, we took a look at both the shooting and organizational process for multi-camera editing. Now it's time to actually switch between the different angles. Hi, this is Rich Harrington for The Power to Create, brought to you by Drobo, small box, big storage. And today, I'm excited to show you the multi-camera editing features inside Adobe Premiere Pro. The benefit of multi-camera editing is it makes it easy to cut from one angle to another and keep everything in sync. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and select the angle that I want to use as the audio source, in this case the music track, and then right click and choose Label, Select Label Group. I can now choose to create a multi-camera source sequence and I'll use the audio from camera one and tell it to create a stereo sequence. It'll synchronize using the audio and I just click OK and a new clip is generated. Now we have the multi-camera source sequence which can be dropped into a new target sequence. It looks just like a regular clip but if you double click on it you'll notice that we see all six angles that we recorded on our professional shoot. And if I press play, I should only hear the audio from the pre-recorded track. Things are looking in sync too. Going to a place far away. Great, we're just about ready to edit. What I'll now do is customize my button editor and make sure that I have all my features. As you drag through these, you'll see different commands and what we're going to use is the multi-camera recording and the multi-camera view. Both of those I've already dragged down because I use this a lot, but if they're not there, your layout may look like this. It's very simple to just drag additional buttons into those rows in order to work and click OK. All right, I've got it all set and what I want to start to do now is edit. I'm going to choose some keyboard shortcuts to make it a little bit easier. I'll type in the word camera. I'm going to map camera 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to some simple keys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And while we're at it, let's just type in the other angles for good measure. Okay, that makes it a lot easier to just use my keyboard to switch between my angles. I'm now going to make this panel a bit larger and click that view to see both side by side. We'll cue up towards the start of the song, right about there. And when I'm ready to edit, you notice I could just click on the angles to choose them or use the keyboard shortcuts of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Okay, let's just cue up a few seconds back and click record and play. There's my count in. And we can cut between angles. And we just cut between the angles as motivated. Got the open road beneath her. Tall trees on either side. The bags are loaded in the back. Got the radio cranked to the max. The only thing that puts a smile on her face is chasing Alabama. And sometimes you'll have a bad cut, but it's easy to modify afterwards. When we press stop, you'll notice that all those edits have occurred. Let's take a look in the timeline. Each edit here can be reviewed and played back. And if you decide you want to make a change to an edit, it's very easy to take the rolling edit tool and just adjust the clip. As you move that, you'll see both the incoming and outgoing shot. 
So in the case where we had a bad cut and it was a little late, Maybe I want to get to the next angle earlier. It's a simple drag. And there's that bad edit, so I'll just grab it and move it beforehand. And that looks good. If you want to switch an angle, simply select it in the timeline and click to change its angle. And you'll notice that the angle is updated, making it easy for you to refine after the fact. So there you have it, the gist of multi-camera editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, the cameras could use a little bit of color correction and tweaking between them, maybe some transitions or dissolves, but we got you through the hard part. The color correction is really easy to do, and we'll take a look at that on future episodes. For the power to create, my name's Rich Harrington, and I'd like to just say a quick thank you to Drobo for sponsoring our program so we can bring you this free education. Be sure to check them out at drobo.com.